Hey guys, welcome back, it's Jen, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a color drip for your cake, and then you can also use it on lots of other things. Um, so it's really, really easy and super yummy. So basically what you're doing is you're gonna make white chocolate ganache and add a little food coloring, and I'll show you how to drip it on the cake. This is a super popular look right now, I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. So it's super cute and fun and really easy way to add something to your cake. Some people use candy melts to do this drip. I highly recommend doing making white ganache um, instead of just melting candy drips because they end up looking more like wax dripping down a candle. They're not smooth. So first of all, here's the tools and ingredients you're gonna need. So you're gonna need some heavy cream or heavy whipping cream, some Ghirardelli white baking chips. I highly recommend this brand. They don't taste fake, they taste really yummy. I find the other ones taste kind of fake. I don't know what it is, but. Um, and then a dash of salt if you'd like, but that's optional. Okay, let's get started making the white ganache. So. You can go ahead and put your baking chips in a microwave safe bowl and add cream and you're going to go ahead and start that on high for one minute and 10 seconds and then you're just going to keep checking it to see if the chips are melted yet. If not, just keeping adding it in the microwave at 10 second intervals. Um, but make sure you mix it a little bit uh, before you put it in again just to kind of even it out, even out the hot and cold spots. Okay, so I definitely had to put mine in for a few more 10 second intervals, but this is what it should look like now. Everything's melted. And then you can go ahead and add just a, one drop of your food coloring. It goes a long way. So go ahead and check now it hasn't cooled down too much. Make sure it's dripping off your whisk uh, smoothly. Uh, if not, you could just pop it back in the microwave until it's to the consistency you want. And you can go ahead and pour it into your bottle. I like to take like a Tupperware or something and just kind of test it out uh, before I, you know, possibly ruin my cake. I always like to do that. It, you do all this hard work to start with the great base of your cake and then ruin it. So it looks like it's working really well. So we can go ahead and put it on the real thing. If you're finding that your ganache has cooled down too much, you can pop it in the microwave in your bottle and get it to the right consistency in 10 second intervals. Or you could fill a cup with hot water um, and stick the bottle in there. If you're finding it's too runny, you are going to want to add more chips you probably measured incorrectly. Sometimes though it's easier to just start over at this point and redo your recipe. So this is called a control drip. Basically you just stop, squeeze until you feel like enough ganache has come out where it'll drip to the level you want and then you simply just move it over and do another drip. Um, it's pretty simple. If you do a drip and you find it's too short, you can go back and drip over that again. Um, but you want to make sure you don't do a drip that's too long because that can't really go back from there. You can try to freeze it for a little bit or put in the um, refrigerator for a little bit and kind of it'll harden. You can kind of crack it off. Um, but there is a little risk in ruining the base of your cake with that. So to get the right look, you're going to want to vary your uh, drips. Some short, some medium, some long, and never the two of the same length in a row. Also, your drip should be about, your longest drip should be about halfway down the cake for the right look. I personally like my drips a little closer together, so I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. 
Okay, so something that can happen is you can squeeze and nothing comes out. Don't squeeze too hard or your whole top will come off and the ganache will go everywhere. I've done it before. Um, so go ahead and take your toothpick and push it from the top. And sometimes you want to even take it off and push it the other way. And there might just be a little chip that you missed in there. Um, and try again. If it keeps happening, then just warm it in 10 second intervals in the microwave or you know, put it in that hot water that I was talking about in a cup. So it is done. It's as simple as that, and it's so super cute. I love drip cakes. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.